Tutorial 2 3D PDF with CAD models in U3D, STEP or IGS formats. In this video you are going to learn to import the U3D file used in many mechanical CAD programs like PTC Creo or in architectural CAD applications like Allplan. The U3D file format is most suitable for 3D PDF documents, so when this file format is available then it's the best choice especially handling large projects. As well, we'll be learning to import STEP and IGES file formats coming from any 3D mechanical CAD software. STEP and IGES file formats are recommended only when you have neither an original project file nor other file formats which are preferable thanks to their small size and quicker processing. No matter how the project is oriented in the CAD application, 3D PDF Maker makes use of an automated procedure that allows to correctly insert it in the PDF file. Let's start with STEP and IGES file formats. If you may choose, go for the STEP file and save this 3D model in the format STEP AP214. In 3D PDF Maker, Open the file Tutorial 1.0 PDF and zoom it properly with the relative button or the mouse scroll wheel. Press Add 3D to select an area for your model insertion. Without changing the default settings, click Convert from File and from the 3D PDF Maker Tutorial folder select the file Tutorial 1.1 SA Step. The model is real and quite large, so please wait until it is imported. It may take some time. The 3D View dialog opens. Click the Rotate button a few times before you can see your 3D model correctly, as it's indicated. Then press the Confirm button. Click in the 3D View dialog box, adjust the zoom with the mouse scroll wheel, then confirm it by clicking the button with a green check mark in the top left corner. The 3D model has been imported in the PDF file. Click Show Preview with Adobe Reader. The PDF file is opened in Adobe Reader. Holding down the left mouse button, have a go at rotating the model. You have created your first 3D PDF file with a 3D model in the STEP file format. Now quit Adobe Reader, go back to 3D PDF Maker and close the PDF file without saving it by clicking on the red icon with the cross in the top right corner. You may continue with your training and insert in the same prepared for you PDF file other models from Tutorial 1.2 Tutorial 1.3 and Tutorial 1.4 STEP files. All of them come from 3D CAD software. Many 3D CAD applications allow to save projects also to the U3D file format. 3D PDF Maker can also extract 3D models in the U3D file format from a 3D PDF document, in case this 3D PDF document contains U3D based models. Let's learn to use also this file format. In the 3D PDF Maker Tutorial folder, open the file Tutorial 1.2 and zoom it properly. Press Add 3D to select an area for your model insertion. Click Convert from File and select and import a U3D file called pumpplant.u3d. The 3D View dialog opens. The model is already correctly oriented. Click Confirm. Then save it with the help of the button with the green check mark. The 3D model has been imported in the PDF file. Click Show Preview with Adobe Reader. The PDF file has been opened in Adobe Reader. Click on the Spin button, that is rotation around the axis, and rotate the model. Now you know how to produce PDF documents with 3D models coming from U3D files. 
Before exiting, you may compare and see the difference between two render modes, headlamp and CAD optimized lights. Now quit Adobe Reader, go back to 3D PDF Maker and close the PDF file without saving it, clicking the red icon with a cross in the top right corner. At the end of this video session, close the tutorial window. You will be able to access tutorials whenever you want by clicking on the tutorial button in the toolbar or on the open tutorial panel in the initial 3D PDF Maker window.